In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to adjust your opacity by using your mouse on the timeline. I'm going to take a ball image and drag it to track number two uh, below this blue uh, back color board background. And then we'll resize it to make it a little bit smaller. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to change the opacity of this particular image. Now one of the ways that I can do that is to double click on the picture. That will bring up my picture in picture designer and then I can go ahead and adjust the opacity. I'm going to take my scrubber and move it to the beginning of of this clip track on the left and then simply click on the opacity button. Now we notice on the left that the opacity default is 100%. So it's 100% opaque, very easy to see. I'm just going to click on OK now. Because when I go back to my track, I'm going to expand it so you can see in more detail. And then move the slider down. When I go back to my track, you notice I have, because I set one keyframe, I now have an opacity green line. And I can actually add keyframes simply with the click of a mouse. So I can go over to this uh, moment in time and click and I just added another keyframe. If I move over here and click, I added a keyframe. And then what I can do with any of these, I'll put one in between them for fun. I can move it left or right, kind of like on a tightrope or I can lower it or raise it. And so if I take this, uh, this image as it looks and go ahead and click on my uh, play button in my preview window, watch what happens to the picture of the ball and the white background in this case. Okay, it dips just like the dip in the, uh, the timeline here. So you can control opacity if you want to. I'll uh, stop that. Uh, just by clicking anywhere you want to as often as you want on the opacity timeline. And so I can adjust it this way. If I go back and double click on the icon, get in my PIP designer, you can see all of the different um, uh, diamonds or all the all of the different keyframes that I added just by clicking with the mouse and if I move from one to the other it's a hundred percent on the first one I'll click the right arrow on the opacity scale the next one's a hundred the next one's a hundred the next one's nine the next one's 69 the next one's 62 and I can go ahead and adjust this I'll turn this one down to zero and I'll take this one here and put that back up to 100% just for fun. And I'll click on OK. And notice it also changed on my little green line. So you have two ways to adjust opacity. But you must have a keyframe uh, set in order for this line to appear on your image. So it's a great way to look at an alternate way of adjusting opacity in CyberLink PowerDirector.